Today I've put together a compilation of some of my favourite cooking hacks and recipe ideas that you can try out at home. If you like, you can subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to make sure you don't miss my future videos. To start with, I'm going to show you how to make these awesome twisted sausage dippers. To make them, we need to cut a hot dog sausage in half and thread it onto a skewer. Then take a sharp knife, sit it on the skewer at an angle and cut a spiral all the way down the sausage like this. Then stretch it out along the skewer. Next, take some pancake mix and add a small amount of water so you can knead it into a bread-like dough like this. Tear off a piece, roll it into a long worm and twist it down the skewer in between the sausage to make a sausage and batter swirl. Cook them off in a frying pan with some oil and make sure they're cooked all the way around. Then they're ready to serve, along with some dipping sauce. You can do a similar thing with a potato. Slide it onto a skewer, place it onto a chopping board and use a sharp knife to put a thin spiral cut all the way down to the end. Fan it out along the skewer and place it onto a baking tray. Add a little cooking oil and bake them in the oven. They go really well alongside a healthy meal or to accompany a burger. You can make your own tomato ketchup by diluting one heaped tablespoon of brown sugar in half a cup of warm water. Then take a small onion, peel it and cut it in half and add one half into the water. Then use a hand blender to blend it in. Add 200 grams of tomato paste into a bowl, quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves, ground cinnamon, quarter of a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of mustard. 3 tablespoons of white vinegar and the sugar and onion water we made earlier. Mix it together and there's our own homemade tomato ketchup. If you want to, you can fill up an old sauce bottle. And it tastes great! You can fill up a cup half full with chocolate ice cream, leave it to melt, then top it up with self-raising flour and give it a mix. Pop it in the microwave for about 2 minutes and we've made our own delicious warm chocolate muffin. You can eat it out of the cup or in a bowl with ice cream. You can make this ice cream bread by putting two mugfuls of vanilla ice cream into a bowl, let it melt, then add one and a half cups of self-raising flour into the bowl and mix it all together. Spoon it into a bread tin, spread it out and bake it in the oven. Once it's ready, let it cool down, then slice it up. And it's delicious with strawberry jam. Here's a really quick dessert idea. Warm up two chocolate chip cookies in a microwave quickly. Then take a round tub of ice cream, cut off a slice and place it in between the cookies to make a delicious ice cream sandwich. You've probably never tried cooking a pizza on a barbecue and if you do, you'll find it just burns the base. But if you want to, you can use a cupcake tray and the coals will heat up the pockets of air in the tray which will bake the pizza instead of burning it. Just place it on the grill and sit the pizza on top. It doesn't take long before it's smelling amazing and it's cooked all the way through. The base is cooked perfectly and it hasn't burnt. You can make a delicious burger with an egg in the middle by pressing your burger patty onto a chopping board and using a glass or a cookie cutter to remove a piece from the middle. Cook your burger in a frying pan and add an egg into the hole. I also added cheese to make this delicious burger. Make perfect poached eggs by lining a mug with cling film, coat it with a little oil and crack in your egg. Then lift it out, twist it around and tie a knot to keep it contained. Place it in a pan of hot simmering water for 3 or 4 minutes. Then it's ready to serve. And it's cooked perfectly. 
You can use an egg slicer to cut butter, hot dog sausage, courgette and canned new potatoes. Then put it all together in a pan to cook a delicious quick meal. And if you like, top it with some sliced feta cheese. In a similar way, you can use a hair pick to help evenly slice up mushrooms for your pizza. Or make a meal by cutting pepper, courgette, onion and chicken and cook them all off. For a delicious quick snack, you can take a slice of bread, remove the crusts and roll it out flatter. Add a slice of processed cheese, then roll it up like this. Make a few and fry them off in a pan. When they're golden and cooked, we've got these tasty cheese toasty dippers. You can make yourself a healthy salad for lunch in a jar like this. Put the denser produce at the bottom and the lighter, more delicate things at the top. I started with carrot and chickpeas and poured on dressing. Then layers of cucumber, tomato, buckwheat, walnuts and a handful of rocket on top. You can get creative and make jars in advance and keep them in the fridge. Before you eat, turn it upside down to mix in the dressing and eat it from the jar or empty it onto a plate. Make healthy vegan pancakes by blending up a cup of oats to make flour then add half a cup of ground hazelnuts some maple syrup for sweetness a little cinnamon and a cup of water. Blend it all together and add in a couple of bananas. When it's smooth, it's ready to cook. I fried it in some coconut oil and added some blueberries. To serve it, add some strawberries and bananas and maybe some walnuts and if you like, some maple syrup. Make amazing bacon pancakes by frying off a ration of bacon then tip pancake batter all around it and over to encase the bacon. These taste amazing. You can use puff pastry and a slab of chocolate to make a delicious dessert. Cut the pastry like this, fold it over and make a lattice. Brush the top with some beaten egg and sprinkle over some flaked almonds. When it's baked, it looks amazing. And it's a great pastry to have with a cup of coffee. You can use a cupcake tray upside down, grease the bottom and mould over some cookie dough. Once they're baked, we've got these awesome warm chocolate cookie bowls. Fill them with ice cream and there's dessert. Pretty cool, huh? You can make your own fudge by pouring a can of condensed milk into a mug, adding a few squares of chocolate and some vanilla extract. You could use peanut butter instead if you like and put it in the microwave for a minute. Give it a stir and put it back in for another 30 seconds. Make sure it doesn't boil over. Give it a quick stir and keep repeating the process until it's a nice thick consistency like this. Then tip it into a tray and leave it to cool. When it's set nice and firm, slice it up into squares. And there's our homemade fudge. Make a nice green smoothie by adding apple juice and pineapple juice into a blender and dilute it with some water. Add a couple of kiwis, you can either peel them or leave the skin on and wash it. Add a handful of kale 
and spinach too. Give it a good blend. Then add in a banana and a slice of lime. Blend it again. And there's our delicious, nutritious smoothie. If you've got an avocado that isn't soft enough to eat yet, you can speed up the ripening process by wrapping it in some tin foil and warming it at a low temperature in an oven. After about 10 minutes, let it cool down and it should be soft, ripe and perfect for eating. Here's a great trick if you're using a cookbook. Take a hanger like this and hook it over a cupboard handle. It makes a great book holder. It'll stop you losing your page and keeps your book clean. You can make your own apple crumble in an apple by cutting up and stewing some apple. Then use butter, oats, flour and sugar to make the crumble topping. Add some sugar and cinnamon to your stewed apple, then hollow out a new apple. Fill it with the stewed apple mix and cover it with the crumble topping. Place it on a baking tray and bake them for about 20 minutes. They look great! And they're delicious with ice cream or custard. Make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell if you don't want to miss my future videos. And if you'd like to see some of my other ideas, you can click on the links. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.